the word you hear all the time. When a Hindu in love relations with a Muslim, Quran 221 says, you shall not wait a pagan woman unless they embrace the faith. A believing slave girl is better than an idolatrous, idolatrous meaning the other worshippers, uh, Hindus. So though she may please you. So Hindu status is less than a slave girl, according to 221. So yes, Quran says the other party must convert and that's fact. Now let's say there is a Muslim, some Muslim there, he says, you know, I don't believe in these things, 221, I'm going to marry you, just go to go to court and get married. Sadiq, Saif Ali Khan did not ask Karina Kapoor to convert. Amin Khan, married twice to Hindu girls, did not ask them to convert. They just ignored 221. But then, Quran 611 says, do not maintain your marriage with the unbelieving woman. So that Muslim, Anytime 10, 20, 30, 40 years down in their married life ever start become a believer in Quran and then they will, uh, now I'm a Quran believer, 221, I cannot maintain this marriage. So Hindus have only two options left. Convert to Islam, that is uh, you are within faith, or take the talaq. I always request Hindus that if you convert, make sure you understand and really do it because you believe in that. So, because if you convert once, and somebody asks uh, Muhammad that what if somebody leaves Islam, what will be the punishment? Uh, Muhammad says, whoever changes religion, kill them. Simple. So yeah, uh, yesterday's presentation, somebody, boy was asking, come on, in America, nobody's going to kill me. I can uh, be Muslim and I can be out. The problem is, let's say you're traveling in Middle East, your life could be in trouble, you never know. There could be some Quran believer, and they say, it's okay, Bukhari. So why to take risk? So unless you believe in Islam uh, and this Quranic teaching, don't fake convert, that's my message. There is a loophole I can say, we can say, that uh, those who believe, uh, those who are people of book, Quran says, they don't have to convert. But the children must be raised in uh, Islamic faith only. So, who are people of book? It should be uh, Jews and uh, Christians. Some uh, I can justify this way that well, Hindus are also people of book. They have uh, Vedas and uh, Puranas and all those things. So that means then uh, we don't have to convert. Uh, they can justify that way. Uh, but at the same token, children must be raised in the Muslim faith only. Amen. Married to Hindu twice, and what is he saying now? that my children will be only Muslim. What do you mean by my children? I mean, you gave the Hindu girl carried the child for nine months, you just gave the sperm. Meaning my children, is a male chauvinist or a religious fanatic? What is he? Most Muslims, their community will not talk. The children must be the Islam faith. Next. My problem is, I don't have any problem. Okay, this is all, you have rights to follow whatever your faith. But Quran 24, 30 says, when you see somebody from other sex, other sex you're supposed to lower your gaze. Uh, Zakir Nayak has beautifully explained the video that uh, when you see that you're not supposed to see the eye, eye, you just lower your gaze and walk away. That means there is absolutely no way you will fall in love remain relationship. So you cannot fall in love relationship. Then who are this uh, fall in love relationship with a Hindu girl or boy? and had romantic relations for 3 to 10 years. What was he? He's not a Quranic believer. And if he's not a Quranic believer, why is asking for conversion? Is he a love jihadi or what? You have full rights to question. Are you a believer of Quran or you are not? That's it. Hello. This message is brought to you by Interfaith Saadi. If you have any view on this message, please share it below. If you have any interfaith relationship related experience or you know someone may have, maybe it is a good, bad or ugly, please share it with us. Share this message with all your friends on Facebook and WhatsApp and help the cause. Thank you very much.